Jesus' name. Glory to your name, O oh God. Lord, we worship you. We adore you. We praise your holy name, O oh God. You alone are worthy, God. We just empty ourselves, O oh God, as yielded vessels, O oh God. Giving you all the glory, the honor, and the praise, O oh God. Move, God, on this Facebook Live today, God, that you will heal, you will restore, that you will strengthen, O oh God. Bring recovery to your people. Hallelujah, God. Expose the enemy. In Jesus' name, we thank you that there's power in your name, God. There's healing in your name. There's deliverance in your name. Salvation in your name. For you are the comfort of God. You are the Prince of Peace, the Holy One of Israel. Be exalted, be lifted up, O oh God. Make your presence known even now, God. As we surrender our will in exchange for yours, O oh God. We ask you, O oh God, to fill us afresh, God. Pour out your spirit on this Facebook Live. In the mighty name of Jesus, heal, deliver, set free right now. We come against every assignment of the enemy, God. Every plot, every plan, every scheme. We remind the devil that he's still defeated. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you that you will be exalted and you will get the glory out of this, O oh God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We ask you, amen, those that are coming on at this time, amen, share this with a friend. Glory to God. Share this with someone because I believe that this, amen, is a problem, an issue in the church of today. Glory to God. And we need healing. Glory to God. We need healing in it. In, in order to minister uh, wellness and healing to others, we must be healed. Glory to God. I believe that there's things that have transpired in ministries and our walks, amen, glory to God, that we must move past, glory to God, in order to move forward. Hallelujah. And we bless the name of our Lord today. Glory to God. He's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, restore your people, God. We speak life. We speak joy. We speak a greater hunger and thirst after you, God, like never before, God. As it did that panted after the water brook, so do our souls long after thee, O God. Only you can quench the longing of our souls, O God. Revive us, O God. Renew, God. Hallelujah. Reconcile, God. Bring back together. Hallelujah. Build us up where we've been torn down, God. I thank you, God, for revelation knowledge being poured out even now upon this Facebook Live, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to go on into our Bible study, uh, this Facebook Live. I just want to encourage everyone, amen, to keep the faith, amen. I'm the host today, Bishop Terrence Campbell of the Global Life Changing Ministries International. I believe, glory to God, that the Lord has put this on my heart, amen, to share his heart, Glory to God, because so many of us in the church, glory to God, are wounded. And even so many that were in the church are outside of the church now because of wounds, because of pains, because of disappointments, because of letdown. Glory to God, because things have happened in the church. Glory to God, that caused you to have a bad taste in your mouth. Amen. But every everyone hear me. Just because you've been hurt in the church or by church folk, hear me. Doesn't mean that church, the church is bad. Glory to God. Hear me. Holiness is a way of life. It's not a church. Glory to God. It's a relationship with the true and living God. And when we have the spirit of God on the inside, saints of God, we become the church. We become the tabernacle of the Lord. Glory to God. A temple. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the spirit of God wants to reside on the inside. And the more we pray and we utilize the word of God and we apply it in our lives, that's what brings about change. Glory to God. The more we are convicted, the more we become under arrest. Glory to God. And that's what God is calling for. A key scripture, amen, is coming from Romans 8 and 28. A very uh, familiar scripture, amen. Uh, uh, it says this, and we know that all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord and to those who who are called according to his purpose, not our own, but his purpose. Glory to God. And we see the title of uh, the message on today, uh, the teaching, glory to God, is recovering from church hurt. Glory to God. Many of us, 
if not all of us, at some point in time have experienced church hurt or a bad experience from people who go to church. Glory to God. Let me say this now. Just because we had a bad experience in church does not make church itself a bad thing. Glory to God. It's many times the people hear me, whether it's leaders or lay members or congregants, glory to God, would do things, hear me, that, uh, that we don't like, we don't agree, and that will hurt us or offend us, glory to God, and that causes us to withdraw, to be hurt because of the pain, glory to God, hear me, but in order for us to be healed, we must realize that the source of the pain wasn't really that person, it was the devil the enemy, the adversary, Beelzebub, glory to God. We must recognize that we're, wrestling, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities, spiritual weakness in high places, rules of darkness of this world, glory to God. Hear me, saints of God. We are in war, glory to God. Before we was even born, we was in war, hear me. The battle yet rages, but the war is already won. The victory is ours through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But we have to walk it out. We must demonstrate, glory to God, by the Spirit of God, leading us and guiding us in all of our steps. Glory to God. Hear me. The reason why so many people that was in church are no longer in church, glory to God, is because of church hurt. Glory to God. And the assignment of the enemy, saints of God, is to always to try to get us to uh, 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 to discredit or to not believe who God says he is. Glory to God. Remember when you first got saved, how ex excited and zealous you were towards the Lord and living saved and going to church. You was at Bible study. You was giving. You was praying. You was reading your Bible and you was applying the word of God. Why? To be the best you could be. Amen. Because get this, you was born again. You was brought from one place of bondage into a place of deliverance. Glory to God. Hear me. And just because you got saved, get this, didn't mean that the attacks were going to stop. Glory to God. Hear me. The enemy knew that if he couldn't get you from without on, on the outside of the church, that he would use someone or something inside of the church, get this, to disrupt your walk with God. Glory to God. Hear me. And God allowed it. Why did God allow it? Hear me. Many times we got to understand in order to grow, there has to be pain. Glory to God. There has to be something. Glory to God. That caused you to be discomforted where you are, to provoke you to move to a better place. Glory to God. Hear me. And the reason why I get this, that many times that hurt comes from leaders or people in the church, get this, is because they themselves are hurt. Hurt people, hurt people. You can mark that down. Hurt people, hurt people. And many times we, we, we don't understand, even as leaders, we're not perfect. We're not God. We are God's servants. Glory to God. And anytime, hear me, when as leaders get to the place where we demanding and requiring people to do such and such for us, we have lost, get this focus. Glory to God. Because I don't want anybody to do something for me because I tell them to. I want them to do something for me because they want to. Hear me? Because when they want to means that their heart is in the right place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'm seeing, hear me, in this day and time, saints of God, that so many people are being manipulated and abused in the church that go to church. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to be careful. Hear me? One of the greatest weapons of the enemy is to take the word of God into to twist it, to distort it, to use it, get this, for his advantage. Glory to God. And things can start out pure. Hear me. But if we don't keep our heart pure before God, hear me, it will become tainted. The more, hear me, we focus on ourselves, the more we become selfish. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God allowed this pain to, to happen. Why? Because, hear me, we had put man in a place where only God is supposed to be. Come on, somebody write that down. We had put man in a place where God is only supposed to be. Hear me. We're not to put 
a total confidence in man. We are to put total confidence and trust in God. Glory to God. Hear me. So when the enemy does something, get this, through that individual that we uh, uh, have confidence and trust in, get this, because we had them at such high expectation, and when they don't meet that uh, level of requirement that we have set or that standard, get this, we are let down, we are distraught, and we are destroyed. Glory to God. And it's so important, saints of God, that we free ourselves. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Never put a man where only God is supposed to be. Glory to God. I tell the people of global life all the time, hear me, I'm not there for them to serve me. I'm there to serve them because I'm a servant of God. I'm there to speak on behalf of God. And so hear me, they can't manipulate me. They can't control me. Glory to God. And I don't control them. We, we, we say thus, what thus said the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Why? Because hear me, when you have been hurt, you ought to be sensitive and careful how you handle other people. Glory to God. Everyone hear this. When you are broken, everybody can touch you. Everybody can handle you. Only people with a special grace chosen by God is able to minister to you to bring recovery. Glory to God. To bring healing. Glory to God. And we know it's not them, but it's the Spirit of God using them. Glory to God. All glory and honor goes to God. Hallelujah. Notice how when you first got saved, you was excited and you was on fire. You was singing in the choir. You was you was giving your tithes and offering. You was at everything, every function. Glory to God. The pastor and the leaders could count on you. But then when someone, whether that leader or someone else in the church did something to you, get this. It caused you to shut down. Why? Because of the pain. When you are hurt, you cover that sensitive area. Glory to God. Why? Because you hurt. And anything that touch it, and if it don't touch it carefully, it re-aggravates the pain. Glory to God. And so God, hear me, wants us to be healed. Glory to God. How can we as the church bring healing to a lost world when we ourselves are sick and miserable and hurt? Glory to God. And bleeding. Glory to God. Because we're too busy attacking each other. Glory to God. Everyone hear me. Why did God allow this hurt is this, is so that you can grow. We all say this, we want to be more like Jesus. Everyone hear me. Whenever we say we want to be more like Jesus or more like Christ, hear me. We're asking for trials. Get this, that would try every part of us to cause us, get this, to bring about forgiveness and trust in God and, and exercising our faith to a greater magnitude that, hear me, that brings about a greater revelation of who God is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because get this, in order to become strong, we must exercise. Glory to God. So our faith has to be tested, has to be tried. So God allows these things, saints of God, to come upon us. Get this. Get this, so that we can grow in his grace, in his favor. Because the more we resemble God, hear me, the more he releases his graces upon our lives. Glory to God. To be used as vessels. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hear me. You see, the church is supposed to be a place of, of healing, a place of deliverance, a place of salvation, a place where God, uh, your, your God-given purpose, saints of God, is cultivated, and we as God's people make a difference in the world. But how can we, when we are damaged, we're scarred, we're stuck in the past and are not moving forward because of pains of yesterday? Glory to God. And it seems, get this, just as you're about to get past that thing, hear me, something else happens to re-aggravate that pain all over again. Glory to God. So it sends you back into that cycle. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But tell your neighbor, it's time to break that cycle. I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out stronger. Glory to God. Because the truth of the matter, if the devil could have taken you out, he would have. But he can't because of the graces that God has placed on your life. Saints of God, hear me. And, and it's something how God, in his infinite wisdom, knows the very thing that causes us to stretch beyond where we are. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And some of us get this, willing to keep going to church, get this, but we're not being productive. 
Glory to God. We wear a smile on the outside, but there's pain all on the inside because of what's going on in us. Because we were let down, we was hurt, we was talked about, or you was lied on, or you was criticized, or you was have been disrespected or abused by someone in the church. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Feeling helpless and you crying and seem like God is not hearing you, saints of God. Hear me. One of the greatest weapons of the enemy is deception. And he used it, get this, in deceit, which he uses, get this, to try to get us to not trust God. Glory to God. Because hear me, when we stop trusting, we stop believing in that fellowship and that intimacy that we had with God, hear me, is set, severed. Glory to God. There's a separation there because we're questioning everything that we thought we knew about God. Glory to God. Hear me. Glory to God. And that's why even when you can't even trust God's hand, you got to trust God's heart. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And knowing that he knows what's best for you, that whatever he allowed, saints of God, that good is going to come from it. Glory to God. And it causes you, hear me, whenever you hurt, you got to cling, cling to him. You got to grab on to him and never let him go. Hug him like never before. If you cry, cry in his face. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because he knows your heart. Hear me. Glory to God. When you've been hurt or wounded by a person. Hear me. The thing you have to do is pray. Glory to God. And you pray. Continually praying and laying before God. And if it stays on you, go to that person. The Bible said, if... If, if thy brother has offended thee, go to them. Glory to them. Glory to them. Put your gift on the altar and go to them. Glory to God. But we have so many people, get this, they talk to people crazy and they saying what the, this is the Lord that's on me. Listen here. God don't handle people in an ugly manner. Glory to God. God don't handle people in a disrespected manner. Glory to God. God knows just how to handle you just as well as he know how to handle me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He knows the very thing that you can take and the very thing that I can't take. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we have so many leaders being so hard and so dogmatic. You better do this. This, this is the Lord. Listen, Jesus. Glory to God. The only time I really recognized that Jesus was really hard is when the money exchanges was in the church, in the temple. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's when he came or when he came against the enemy, Satan. In this time, he had to rebuke the spirit that was missing, that was talking through uh, 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 Peter. Glory to God and the other disciples. Saints of God, hear me. Glory to God. We got to know how to handle God's people and understand, hear me, that they're not our people, but they're God's people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And if we see everyone through the eyes of God, we will be careful how we handle people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Not quick to disrespect. Not quick to throw people away. Glory to God. Hallelujah. People are hurting. People are crying. Hallelujah. Asking God for help. Hallelujah. And God, hear me, saints of God. And I'm going to tell you this. In order for you to move past from her, past hurt and pain, hear me. You got to forgive. You got to forgive. Because if you don't forgive, God will not forgive you. Glory to God. No matter who did what, hallelujah, you got to forgive them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How can I forgive when it's always playing in my mind? Hear me. You got to get to the place, hear me, to act, hear me, as if it never happened. Hear me. Not saying that you got to stay around that ind individual. Glory to God. Because hear me, let's, let's say this. There's some people that have been hurt in the church and they still in that church, but they're not functioning like they used to. Glory to God. They're going and they're miserable. Glory to God. Not being productive. Glory to God. Because they've been told, if you leave this church, you, you won't be blessed. You're going to be cursed. Come on. Or if you get up off and under the covering, uh, ain't nothing good is going to happen. That's the greatest lie from the pits of hell. Hear me. No man has a monopoly on God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because hear me, sometimes when we're not being able to be led out, God will allow us to be driven out. He'll allow you to be pushed out because of pain. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Because hear me, the scariest thing that I'm finding is we having so many leaders of today that are so caught up in building their own empire instead of advancing the kingdom of heaven. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Glory to God. It, hear me. It's not about getting rich. Glory to God. It's not about having a lot of money. Glory to God. See, we got wealth so twisted as wealth is just about money. No, 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 no. Wealth is being spiritually blessed, happy, full, peace, love, joy, righteousness. In the, that's wealthy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hear me. You got to be careful of dealing with people that never say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Whenever, whether it's a leader, hear me, because the Bible said all have sinned and fall short. None of us are perfect down here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And as leaders, we must be transparent and see, we got to stay humble. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible said, let no man think more highly of himself than he ought. And so many times leaders want to hold up this great image as we all that. Saints of God, hear me. Glory to God. We go through trials and tests just as well as you do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But we are supposed to be an example. Glory to God. We are supposed to cling to the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Like never before. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not saying that we're better than anybody. God forbid. Glory to God. We have to trust God. We have to allow the spirit of God to consume our very being, saints of God. Hallelujah. To, we have to get beyond of just going to church and just going out of obligation. Hear me. Because many people now that was on fire for God uh, are no longer going out of inspiration. They're going out of obligation. Glory to God. I got to go to church on Sunday. I got to do this. I got to be this. Hear me. Glory to God. Where's your joy? Where's your peace? Where's your love? Hallelujah. Everything that has happened was been used by the enemy to try to separate you from the love of your God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But you got to be dedicated. I call you into remembrance. Glory to God of how God saved you, how God delivered you, how God brought you out and the things that God is even doing for you even right now. Because the truth of the matter, we're so undeserving of the blessings of God, of his favor, of his mercies. Glory to God. But he's such a merciful, loving God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hear me. And whenever us as leaders or lay members or congregants, as people in general, get to the place where we can't say, hey, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I didn't handle that right. If I offended thee, please forgive me. We have gotten into a spirit of error, a dangerous, dangerous spirit, glory to God, called pride. Pride go before destruction, and the Bible said a haughty spirit before a great fall. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because when you think that you're there, God has a way of allowing you to be cut down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Most people are concerned how they look in the eyes of man rather than the, how God sees them. Saints of God, we have to be so conscious. Hear me. That I don't want to even think evil about another person. Glory to God. Lord, if that thought come, cast it down. Lord, forgive me. I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hear me. Because if you've been hurt as a minister, as a leader, and you don't uh, allow God to heal you from that hurt, you're going to minister out hurt. You're going to lash out in anger. You're going to lash out in, in, in all kind of, you know, Ways, hear me, and that spirit that's on you, get this, is released upon the people. Glory to God, of God's people. And it's so important, saints of God, that we handle God's people carefully. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so get this, so because many leaders don't want to appear to be weak in front of people, hear me, they would, they would do whatever, get this, necessary to justify, hear me, their wrong. And that's a scary place to be, saints of God. i rather, get this, appear to be weak in the eyes of man 
and be strong in the eyes of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it grieves my heart when I see people that were so on fire. Glory to God. Whether it, it, they, they were given in the church and, and a, somebody took advantage of their fi finances. And, and now they, they've been hurt because of, come on, sow a seed, sow a seed, sow a seed, sow a seed. Listen, if I'm always sowing a seed, when am I going to have time to reap a harvest? Glory to God. God requires us to give our tithes and offering, and he will lead us to give seed. And then there's time to get this. A leader may ask, hey, we got this going on. We're looking to do this project. We're asking as many members to give what they can. You know, if they ask for a certain amount and you can do it, praise God. If you can't, don't feel bad about it. And we should never, glory to God, make someone feel bad about what they give or what they're not able to give. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it's not the will of God for you to go out and get loans and borrow to give. Come on, saints of God. Hallelujah. It's not God don't want you to get in debt. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If we obey God, if everybody was to obey God in the tithe in the offering, glory to God. And some people say, well, tithe is of the uh, uh, under the law. No, tithe was 400 years before the law. And hear me. And we know we're not no longer under that covenant. We're under a greater covenant. Get this. So 10% should be the least that we give unto God. And God wants us to give a cheerful giver. Get this because the truth of everything already belongs to God. Hallelujah. The earth and the fullness thereof. Everything belongs to him. Glory to God. But he allowed us to be stewards of what, what he's given us. To give back to him in reference. Glory to God. To honor him. To let him know, Lord, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have this. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Glory to God. See, tithe and offering is it, it, it's, 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 it's a token of appreciation. Glory to God. To God for what he's done for you. Not only for you, but for your family. Everything concerning you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hear me. In order for church healing to start, hear me. It must to happen. It must start with the leaders. If we as leaders are broken, busted, disgusted, angry, hear me, healing will not be upon the people. We must get in the face of God and allow God to heal us. Get this. Let me say this, saints of God. Leaders cry too. Leaders hurt too. Every time we expect our leaders to be so strong, like they don't go through nothing, hear me. You can't imagine the test. That leaders, uh, pastors, pastors' wives go through. Glory to anybody that co connected close to the leader. They go through trials too. More than people in the congregation. Why? Because they're in leadership position. Glory to God. And I see young people coming up. And it's good to be used by God. Hear me. The saints of God, hear me. Don't run the pastor. Make sure God call you to it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because so many times we want to do stuff because other people put this stuff in our head. You make sure God is le leading you. Hear me? Because when God leads you, he's giving you the grace. Get this, to go through whatever you got to go through concerning ministry. Glory to God. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have trials. You're going to have times of peace, times of, of joy. Then you're going to have times, get this, where you want the Lord, where are you? But you got to trust God and keep walking by faith, saints of God, knowing that he's there. Glory to God. Sometimes even as leaders, we don't even know what God is doing. We just trust in and walking by faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me address this. In order for the church to be healthy, the leader and the people, get this. The leader has to, first of all, get before God and let God hear him. But the people have to have trust in their leader. Glory to God. And what has happened? You have people who have been damaged from one ministry come from one ministry, then they move to another ministry, get this, damaged. And they make the leader that they're at now pay for the damage that the past leader has done. Glory to God. So whenever you go to another ministry or you leave one ministry because of some foolishness or some hurt or pain, hear me. Go to the next ministry, get this, and sit. and make sure, First of all, make sure God is leading you to that particular ministry. Glory to God. You go there and you sit and allow God, hear me, to heal you, to minister to you. Glory to God. You need to have time of recovery. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Just like a person that goes in to have a major surgery. They don't, once their surgery is over, they don't take them immediately out to the floor. They take them from the operating room to the recovery room. Glory to God. To make sure everything is going according to plan. Glory to God. And that's a powerful word right there. Hear me. Everything that has happened to you has been orchestrated and allowed by God. Glory to God. Why did God allow you to be hurt in church? Get this. To show you how not to hurt others. Glory to God. So you'll be able to empathize with others. So you'll be able to relate and to feel the pain of others. Why? Because you've been there. You've experienced it. You know how it made you feel. And you don't want no one else to feel that same pain. Glory to God. Lord, we praise you. I just feel God ministering to someone right there because you was on fire. Now you're sitting down. Now you, you're out of church. Now you're not doing anything because you've been hurt. Hear me. But you're not happy. Let me help you. Because you're not being who God has called you to be. Glory to God. How long are you going to blame someone else? Hear me. It wasn't them. They was just, they, they, that person was just the instrument. Whether it was a leader, whether it was a, another a, a congregant, they were just an instrument. The source behind it is the devil because he knew that if he could get you off track, you would stop doing what God has called you to do. I call you into remembrance today. with Oh God, I praise you. Glory to God. Of the love that you have for God and that that love will just rise up in you like never before. That there will be a fresh fire that comes upon you, a greater passion than ever before. That you want your joy back, your peace back, your love back, your, your passion back for God. And to pray and to read God's word and to be who God has called you to be, saints of God. Hallelujah. This is not the time for sitting down. This is the time for rising up. Because the world is in chaos. Glory to God. And God has put us here as ambassadors. Glory to God. Representatives. Representatives of Christ. To get this. To reflect God's glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To let people know that Jesus is the answer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go back to that place of worship, saints of God. Forgive that person and let it go. Because hear me, what happened? When the enemy used that person, you got mad at that person. Get this. And then the enemy kept speaking to you. Then you got mad at God and saying, why God, if you love me so much, why you allowed this? Hear me. When God counted you worthy to go through the test, and it's only a, it's on, it was only a test. Get this. For you to pass to forgive. Get this. Because the more we forgive, the more we become like Christ. The more we grow in his graces. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. People are going to lie on you. People are going to talk about you. People are going to criticize you. Hallelujah. But you got to get to the place. Get this. It may hurt me, but it's not going to destroy me. Glory to God. And then you got to be able to shake it off. I heard the saying, just let it, let it, let it roll like uh, water on a duck's back. Just let it roll off. Glory to God. And you keep on going. And you keep on going. Get this. Because the more, get this, you become like Christ, the greater the target you are for the enemy. Glory to God. The devil didn't stop you because you was a nobody. He tried to stop you because you're somebody. Glory to God. And I bring you into remembrance of your purpose. Glory to God. Of your destiny. Glory to God. Because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Hear me. I'm glad that God is not like man. Man will throw you away. Man will give up on you. Man will say what you can't do. Hear me. But I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we got to understand, get this, what the devil meant for bad, God meant for good. 2 Timothy 2 and 15 says this. Glory to God. To study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth. So hear me. If you study the word for yourself, you will know God for yourself. 
Glory to God. And so the preacher that preaches over you, hear me, you honor, you respect authority. Everyone hear me what I'm saying? But when it comes to, everyone hear me what I'm going to say right now. When it comes to a leader trying to get you to think and act like him and that he's always right, manipulation. And manipulation is as the spirit of witchcraft. Glory to God. That's mind control. Glory to God. You got to be able to be who God has called you to be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And by you being who God has called you to be and me being who God has called us to be, that would help the ministry flow properly. Flow like it's supposed to be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God don't make no clones, saints of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You have to find your own identity in Christ by you praying and laboring. You respect leadership. Let's go back to that. You respect. Don't disrespect your leader. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You honor them. You honor the man and the woman of God. Hear me. But let's, let's address this. Man and woman of God, do not disrespect God's people. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you this about me. I see people that got um bears and this and that. All good and fine. Glory to God. But one thing that I dislike is when I see a leader talking to the um bear like a child or like a dog. Hear me. I don't like that. And God is not pleased with that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let us stay humble. Because when someone is there, we must cherish, we must appreciate them wanting to be by our side. First of all, they have to be chosen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And sometimes people think, that, oh, because that God is on them, that they can talk to people hard and crazy. That's not God. He's a loving God. He's a merciful God. Hear me. And when God deals even with us, and corrects us even as leaders. God is still merciful. So we must handle others. Like God handled us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hear me. By setting the word of God and being led by his spirit. We will know God for ourselves. And by, by truly putting the word of God into practice. Saints of God in our lives. Hear me. We're able. Get this. To be aware of the wiles of the enemy. The traps and the snares of the devil. Glory to God. We're not bamboozled. You got, hear me. So many people go to church are so easily deceived and beguiled because they see this person. Oh, they dance. That must be the Lord. Oh, they speaking in tongues. That must be the Lord. Hear me. Hear me. You got folk. Everyone hear me. I'm not knocking. I love to speak in tongues. I dance. Glory to God. Hear me. But it comes with accountability. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because I've seen people dance, shout. Speak in tongues and then do all kind of craziness. Talk to folk. I've seen people, hear me, but people that can sing the house down, get this, but have such a nasty attitude after they didn't minister. And that's why saints of God, we have to understand we must represent God at all times. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Maybe you've been hurt by someone in church or let down by a leader. Maybe someone... Some hurtful things been said to you. People lied on you, talked about you. Glory to God. All this was assault from the enemy to stop your progress. Glory to God. And some people have fell by the wayside. Some, by, some people have been pulled over. Hallelujah. Why? Because what's sad, hear me, is when you've been hurt and when you've been wounded, the person that know that they talk to you crazy, said crazy stuff, did some crazy stuff to you, then they act like they haven't even done nothing to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that's another thing that you have to deal with. It's like a slap in the face. Even, let's say this, even with God, we can't mess up or sin on God without coming back and say, Lord, forgive me. I messed up. I sinned. I did, I did wrong. You can't mess up on God then come back and say, what's up, God? Everything's cool. Hallelujah. Come on. We have to get things right and clear the air so things can flow smoothly. Glory to God. Come on, lift your hands right there. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We was faithfully praying and coming to church and singing in the choir and fasting, but you were blindsided by the enemy, the hurt and the pain that left you discombobulated and you 
distraught. Glory to God. And confused. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, it wasn't just that one thing. That was the start of it. But there was other things that took place. Get this. Because you, that hurt and something else in the church, you just start backing out of the church. You stop going faithfully because of what has happened. And you would miss a Sunday here. Then all of a sudden, then on Sunday morning, you said, hey, I'm tired. I'm just going to lay in the day. Get this. And so it became so easy for you to miss church. The enemy played you. You played right into the enemy's hand. Glory to God. But I come to serve the devil notice today. Glory to God. That earth has no sorrow. That heaven cannot heal. Glory to God. That the Lord of breakthroughs is here even right now to restore you, to heal you, to bring you your peace back. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that's why he wants us to, to pray and talk to him and know him for ourselves. Get this. So when man let us down, we're not destroyed. Glory to God. Because man is finicky. Man is sometime. A man is wishy-washy. Man is weak. But God is strong. He takes the foolish things. To confound the wise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saints of God. God loves you today. As we go back to our foundation scripture. Romans 8 and 28. For we know that all things work together. For the good to them that love the Lord. Hear me. Everything that happened to you. Wasn't good. Let's address that. What you're going to do with it? You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have sunny days. You're going to have rain days. Get this. Rainy days. Get this. When the sun is out. Hallelujah. You're getting a lot of vitamin D. We're excited. But then when the sun is in. Because of the cloud. Get this. The sun is still shining. But there's something blocking the sun. Hear me. You could either allow the rain to get you wet. Or you can pull out the umbrella to be able to endure the rain. Glory to God. And God has given us, he's equipped us with everything we need pertaining to life and godliness, saints of God. Hallelujah. And there's nothing that none of us have gone through that Jesus hadn't went through. Glory. He knows our pain. He knows our sorrow. And cry out to God. Allow God to heal you right now. Lord, I just praise you. I thank you that those who of us who have been hurt, who have been wounded by those in church, whether it's leaders or other congregants, God, we forgive them. We let it go. We realize that it was the enemy behind it, God. Hallelujah. And Father God, I thank you that even now, as healing is taking place, with tears streaming down many faces right now, glory to God, that you will heal the broken heart. That your love will overshadow them even now because you are Emmanuel, God with us. Your presence is made known, God, and your strength is being revealed even now. I thank you, Lord God, that they will rise up in the power of your Holy Spirit. Glory to God. What the devil meant for bad, glory to God, it shall now work together for our good. We trust you. We love you, God. We embrace you. We thank you that, hallelujah, even in times we don't understand, we lean not to our own understanding. But in all our ways, we acknowledge you and you shall direct and order our steps in the path which you have laid out for us, O oh God. Father, I thank you right now. Glory to God that there's a fire, there's an anointing being released. Hallelujah, that you heal in broken hearts, O oh God. That you will lead them and guide them to the place that you have prepared for them. A man, a woman of God that's able to nurture them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To help raise them up and to minister to them, oh God. That will help push them into their purpose, into destiny. Glory to God. To set this world on fire. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, send revival fire upon us even now. Your Holy Spirit baptize us afresh, O God. Robo Koshata. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for peace to our minds, God, that we will no longer be tormented by the past. 
that is over now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Saints of God, if you're out of church, if you're not going nowhere, glory to God. Find a church home. Pray and ask God to lead you. Glory to God. For there are true men and women of God out there. And we have to stop thinking that church is bad as a whole because we've had a few bad experiences with people in church. Everybody is not the same. There are true men and women of God out there. Amen. That's not after what you got, but they after who you are to become for the kingdom of God. May the Lord add a blessing to you all today. God bless you and keep you as our prayer. Amen.